Mike McCool here. I'm in the Royal Examiner studio and with me today is Kristen Pence. Kristen is the write-in candidate for South River School Board. It's kind of strange we have write-in candidates. We don't have anyone on the ballot. Uh, we have now two write-in candidates. So I wanted to get you in here before Election Day. I know you've been really busy. Uh, Kristen is a doctor at the veterinarian clinic here in town, so you can talk about that if you want. But uh, uh, let's talk about school board. Why do you want to do this? First, thank you for having me, especially sure. on a Saturday. Um, so I, I'm born and raised in Browntown. I graduated from Warren County High School in 1999. Oh, don't give the years. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, think how old, we'll add it up and figure how old you are. Does, okay, well, I just had my 20-year reunion last yeah. night. Um, so after I graduated, I went on to Virginia Tech, graduated from veterinary school in 2009. And once I graduated, I came, I came back to Front Royal, to Warren County, because right. this is my home. And I actually went back to the same practice that I worked at all through high school. High school. Yep, high school and college. Um, <laughs> Seems kind of weird when you do that, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, uh, like I think that's an anomaly, but, yeah. um, but I really enjoy it. And so basically, once I knew, you know, I'm here to stay, I have been as active as possible sure. in our community. So I've had the opportunity to go into the public schools for community helper days, for career days. I've done a couple of different mentor type programs. I had the opportunity to work on the initial planning of Project Lead the Way when Melody Shepard first brought that to mm -hmm. Warren County. Mm -hmm. um, that's a, an opportunity for students to have more hands-on learning. They can either choose a biomedical sciences pathway or an engineering pathway. So that's that's been great for our students, I think. That's a unique learning experience for them. Outside of that school, that school volunteering that I've done, I've also been an active member of the Rotary Club of Warren County. So that's given me the opportunity to see really how our community is involved with the school sure. system, with programs like Backpack Buddies. So we're bringing food to hungry kids at the schools. We're working on the zone project, bringing hygiene products to kids that otherwise wouldn't have have that available to them. And then of course, working on school supplies and seeing that need that teachers have to supplement their classrooms. So I've really enjoyed you know, that volunteer service side of my experience with the school system. Now I think it's the time for me to really step into a decision-making role. And that's why I've decided to run as South River candidate for school board. Mm -hmm. I really wanna do my part to move our school system forward in the right direction, in a positive direction. Well, I asked you if you had children in school and you said they're coming, so. Uh, <laughs> just one. Just one. <laughs> just one, her name's Tallulah, she'll be four in January. Well, that's kind of a pre-kindergarten age. Mm -hmm. They start, uh, you said at Ressy Jeffries, so mm -hmm. you'll have, uh, you have an incentive to make the schools the best Absolutely. they can be for your, for your own child. Absolutely, so. Well, one of the things that are addressing the school board in the next year will be a new superintendent. Do you have any ideas of what you're looking for in a superintendent? Well, first, when I was trying to make the decision you know, to run and really doing my research of if, if this is gonna be the right fit for me, I met with then superintendent Greg Drescher and with assist assistant superintendent Melody Shepard and really saw what the inner workings of a superintendent does. During that hour and a half meeting with them, you know, I just, they could rattle off details and facts about the school systems and the, the anti-bullying programs that are in place. What are we doing with attendance and the accreditation plans in place for um, working on Skyline High School and E. Wilson Morrison, trying right. to get them fully accredited. And so it really shows, hey, we need somebody that has strong leadership, strong communication abilities, not just with the administration staff, not just with the teachers, but with the students and the parents. We also need somebody that really fits our community. I mean, you know better than anybody right now with the turmoil that our community is facing, we need a superintendent that's really gonna be the right fit for us, for our school system, and really look to make that positive change, make that positive impact on our community and on our students. Right, it's gonna be an important job, and it's gonna be hard to find a right fit mm -hmm. for someone. Uh, I think Melanie's doing a good job, and I'm sure she'll be considered in that role as well. 
Uh, but it's, you know, we are, the school system really is the largest employer. Mm -hmm. We don't realize we have 800 employees in our school system. It just, it, the number just seems unreal. You just wouldn't think it would be that large, but it's very large and it's a big chunk of the budget. And that's something that the school board works on is the budget for the school system. So it's an, it's an important uh, uh, position and, and it has a lot of responsibility. It does. And, you know, things to look at are really supporting our teachers. You know, I'm out there door knocking and meeting people in the community. And I would just like to say that the more community members that I meet, the more support that I find for our teachers and our school system, because through everything that's going on, people see losing our teachers to surrounding counties as a real issue as you know, seeing teachers having to buy supplies for their own classrooms as a real issue. Uh, and I, I know that all the time they're doing it at our church. You know, we do a back part of the backpack mm -hmm. program. And uh, it's just amazing that um, that you would even think that you got to buy supplies for the school. I mean, you would think, well, that's, you know, for as much money as we spend per student, uh, that that wouldn't be an issue. But uh, it is. And, uh, and it just... You know, it's great that the community steps up and helps yeah. that out. And there's a lot of families that struggle uh, with their budget. And uh, so that's another issue that we have as well. It is. And just really um, trying to bring support to those children. I was just, you know, thinking about how we're moving forward with, with some of our different schools in the district. And one of them I think that's doing a fantastic job is E. Wilson Morrison. They have put some new programs in place for those children. The the big program That's a great which program, is isn't wonderful it? for mentor for mentorship mm -hmm. for those boys. They came out just earlier this week and helped serve food at Tuesday's table and they just it gives them a sense of service and giving back to their community and it just it helps them with respect of each other, of everyone within the community and really shows them what it is to help others. When they slip those little blue jackets on they, you can see their whole attitude changes, doesn't it? It's, yes. it's great. Yes. And uh, Shane is doing a great job there Absolutely. at E. Wilson, so that's great too. So now you've been pounding on door, uh, knocking on doors, <laughs> and uh, that's a lot of work in the South River District. I mean, the yes. houses are not like right next door to each other. You know, it's been, yes, <laughs> you're right. So, you know, I've met so many people that in South River we would consider them neighbors, but, sure, you know, they're sure. really five miles away um but i've really had the opportunity to talk to a lot of a lot of members that of our community that i normally wouldn't have met and um they all have a great perspective like i said i mean they just are very open to supporting our school system they really just feel like they want to back our kids and they want to back our teachers and you know no matter what else is going on they feel like all the things we've already mentioned you know they want to throw in support for supplies and food and and really just all those things that our kids need to right. help them succeed well when you first said you were going to run as a write-in because you missed the deadline by a few days you know i said well you know no one's running against you just take it easy kristen i mean uh you know you come in you want to buy some signs i said well don't buy so many because you know and you know i don't think you really need to do that and spend that money but just get out and talk to people but you said no you were going to treat this as a serious run because now we have another candidate, mm -hmm. but you were you were serious about doing it. You put the effort forward. I know she started knocking on doors. You bought signs. You, uh, you, you know, you've done the things that a normal candidate would do, and you took it as a serious thing. I said, all you got to do, you know, if you only get two write-ins, you're in. You know, it's a serious job, though, <laughs> but Mike. It, but I think you've taken it. You've taken the step that, you know, no, you weren't going to just sit back and and be a shoe in. You went out and worked. Uh, work the area, so I, I give you credit for that. That's really good that, you, that you're taking it seriously. I want people. I want people to know me, even even if I'm not on the ballot. Right. I want members of our district to know who I am and that I'm running for the right reasons. I right. feel like I am the best candidate in South River to really bring our school system in a positive direction. You know, I've been trying to get you in here for a few days and, I, <laughs> and and on your few days off you were you've been out campaigning and then I said, well, it's not so bad. She no one's running against her. Then Friday David came forth and I'm going to run for South River. And so we have two write-in candidates, which is kind of strange, but uh, you know, it's good that people step up and mm -hmm. you know, uh, and I think that uh, either one of you, I tell this to all the candidates, good luck, you know, I, when, when you're on. So 
uh, you know, the, I think that the public will vote for the right person and write in. And write in's a little strange. You know, you have to write the name. You just can't put Kristen. You know, you yeah, have to. Kristen J. Pence. Yeah, and so uh, I'm not sure how liberal they'll be on it, but. Uh, well, no mistakes if it's Kristen J. Pence and fill in the bubble. Don't forget That's to right. fill in the bubble. That's right. There's a there's a lot of that. So the, and uh, but it's it's great that the people can go and vote. Now remember, voting is November fifth. That's just Tuesday. It's just a couple days, and uh, it's an important thing that people need to do. And the school board uh, is an important position. I mean, we just realize it's it's sixty percent of the budget sometimes, and I can't remember the exact number, but it's a big it budget item on our taxes. Uh, you want the right person in there, uh, you know, to make sure that we're getting the biggest bang for our buck, and that our students are going to be doctors in the future. And I've known people say, "Oh, well, the schools were so bad," and I know doctors, lawyers, Indian chiefs, and pharmacists, and scientists, and and all have come out of our so-called uh, school system that we've had in the last 40 years and I think it's only going to and and it's been really greatly improved yeah. so I think uh, with the right leadership you know we'll have a really great school system yeah, we'll, have, we'll have our future leaders these are the people that are going to be paying my social security you know so <laughs> right right we, we want to teach them well <laughs> we want right? to teach them well and get good jobs and get good local yeah. jobs yeah, and absolutely. so uh, we want to do that of course yeah. now my daughter is teaching school as well and okay. uh, she got her degree and did it here in town well you know she she's now oh she's in Malaysia but oh. she's coming back to work uh, next summer they'll be back from their two-year stint over there but you know she did her whole degree online and now she's well, when she gets back she'll have her master's online okay. so it's amazing the opportunities Great. are there mm -hmm. to stay in Warren County and go around the world and it's whatever just amazing. You whatever you want to do, <laughs> uh, you set your mind to it. So, Absolutely. and I know you've set your mind to this campaign, and uh, congratulations on doing Thank that. You. And and so I'm sure you'll see her between now and Tuesday knocking on your door if you're in South yep. River. Absolutely. And uh, and and we'll do that. So be sure you vote early, vote often. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying that for some reason, but I do stress the importance of voting. It's just what we need to do. Right. It's the American way. So vote on Tuesday, November fifth. Thanks Thank again, you. Kristen. Thank you.